whoa. Hey. Pastor Weed. How are you, Edgar? Pastor Bob Weed. Am I correct? You are correct. Of Delaware. Of Delaware, yes. Well, because we found your birth certificate. You did. And it says you're really Robert Weed of Pennsylvania. Well, that would be true. That's where I was born. Yes, Can I sir. call you Robert? How about you call me Pastor Bob? Rob. How about Pastor Robbie? Bob? Roberto. <laughs> Roberto. <Bob. laughs> Can I call you Bert? Uh, I don't think so. How about Pastor Bob? Bob? Like Bobby? Bob Alicious? <laughs> Bob and for Apples? Bob or Team? <laughs> Bob or Nick Cumberbatch? Mm hmm. How come we don't have a middle name on this birth certificate? Actually, Edgar, I didn't get a middle name. Mm hmm. Likely story. Mm hmm. My, I'm one of seven kids. They ran out of names. They ran out of names in Pennsylvania? Yes, they did. <laughs> or at least Suspect. in the weed house. <laughs> and you're not a born and raised Delawarean either, then. Oh, uh, don't tell anybody. Just that. raised. Just mostly. raised. Mostly. Mostly raised. So why should Delawareans listen to you? Hmm? Because I've lived here for over 50 years. Hmm. Yeah. How long have you lived in Delaware? Hmm. So I also researched you in Digital Babylon. You did. Apparently the church website can be found there too. Absolutely. A lot of good things can be found in Digital Babylon. Did you know the church claims that you're also a uh, doctor? I am called a doctor, but I'm not a medical doctor. Funny. I didn't see that on your birth certificate either. Well, I wasn't born a doctor. I'm sorry. I didn't catch it on your birth certificate. What exactly are you a doctor of again? I'm a doctor of ministry. Doctor of ministry. Yes. Hmm, interesting. You uh, have two other degrees in um, theology. In theology. But yes. then a doctorate in um, ministry yes. without theology. I think we know what that means. <laughs> what does that so, mean? So, um, um, can I call you Dr. Bob? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Dr. Bob, did you get to be Dr. Bob because you studied Hebrew and Greek? Well, I studied Hebrew and Greek, but that's not why I'm called Dr. Bob. Do you know what your name is in Greek? Wow. Robertos. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or Revertes or something like that. I that, don't know. that would be a good Greek translation, though I'm not sure it's quite accurate. One of those, depending on your pronunciation, I guess. Robertos. Yes. Can you say something in Greek? Oh, you put me on the spot. Can you say, can, can you say cheese? Yeah, you ready? Mm-hmm. Cheese. No, I'm sorry. That's not in Greek. The answer we're looking for in Greek is uh, feta. Feta? Mm -hmm. <laughs> On a scale of um, 1 to 10, how guilty do you feel about getting paid to work one day a week? Not very guilty at all. Hmm. Follow up, this interview is not being taped on a Sunday, so do you expect to get paid overtime? Absolutely. Mm. That's what I thought. Well then, what would you say is your job as a um, lead pastor? That means I'm responsible for what happens in the church. I have to make sure that people are being served and cared for, that the services are going on as they should, making sure schedules are being kept. Okay, so glorified kind of waiter, great. Okay, on a, a study <laughs> once found that men speak about seven to 8,000 words a, a day. How would you describe Miss Patty's feelings when you come home with no words left? Edgar, hmm? Edgar, what are you, oh, what are you doing Miss here? Sherry, what are you doing Why here? get the whole crew here? I'm, what? I, I'm doing some investigative journalism. No, mm -hmm. Edgar. Edgar. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You said some I word, and I think it's as investigative journalism. No, no, it's an interview. I saw that on Digital Babylon. It's too. Pastor Appreciation Month, <laughs> and I invited all the pastors to come for an interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I know, I know. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm going to find out the truth about every single oh one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what kind of questions have you asked Pastor Bob? My goodness. Psst, I, did you know he's not a Delawarean? I, did you know I'm not either? Uh oh. Do I need to interrogate you? <laughs> no. Miss <laughs> mm, Sherry, have a seat. <laughs> hey, guess what? Guess what? What else? What else did you ask him? He only works one day a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a myth in ministry. Um, ministry is. But I saw it online. Yeah, no. Ministry is twenty-four seven, seven days a week, twenty-four hours a day. If someone needs really, Pastor, yeah, if someone needs Pastor Bob, he's available. And we have office hours. What, you give out your phone number? In the office, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, ministry's hard. It's not a one day a week. It's 
Sunday not, is not our only day. Hmm. Work. I think this needs some more research. So if yes. you don't mind, I have a few more well, questions okay. to ask him no, to I make sure Edgar, that you... Edgar, I what? need you to pause for a moment, please. What? We're going to go into the kids' mm -hmm. room, and we're going to do Pastor Bob's interview there, where we were supposed to do it in a half an hour. But I, 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 I have all these questions! No, you, ah! We have questions <gasps> ready for Pastor Bob, and I'm going to thank you for trying to help. But All right. Okay. We'll get back to this, okay? All right. Pastor Jay! Hey guys, welcome to KDD. And I have invited a special guest today. So October is Pastor Appreciation Month. So all month long, I've asked, invited all the pastors to come in for our Thursday show, our interview show. And today, I have our lead pastor, Pastor Bob Weed, here. And um, we're going to talk about, um, so this month, our themes, everything has changed in October. So October's themes um, is integrity. Mm -hmm. It's dropping the act. And being yeah. the real being you, real. And yeah. being real, yeah. and for our little preschool kids, it's singing in the rain, learning how ah. to trust God through the rain. We all have to learn that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good lesson. Yes. And um, so, thank you for coming on the thank show. Thank you today. for having me. Yeah. I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, Edgar's an interesting fellow. <laughs> he, he is <laughs> yeah. interesting. I do like his blonde hair. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Reminds me of me when I was younger. He was very excited to to interview you, so I um, I have no idea. We'll, I can't wait to see the footage. Well, you can let him know I was glad to meet him. I've okay. been seeing him online. Yes. It's nice to finally meet him in person. Yes. He's a character. He is a character. <laughs> <laughs> um, so can you tell us a little bit about what you do at the church? Basically, my role is to make sure that ministry is taking place, uh, to bring people together, coordinate things. Obviously, I do the preaching and, and a lot of the teaching, but not all of it. There's a lot of people that do preaching, teaching, and Bible studies. But my job is basically to bring everybody together and get us to work together towards our, the mission, what, what God's trying to accomplish here at the church. Yeah. And you've been here a really long time, because I know I've been here a really long time, and you've been here as long as I've been here. So I've been here since 2001. So how many years is that? I guess that's 19 years 19 now. 19 years, yeah. 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 I think... I think I'm just one year, maybe two years longer than that. Yeah. So, yeah. A so long time. Been for, here a very long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, a long time. <laughs> so, um, so we, I ask all my guests the question of the week. Okay. So, this again, this month's about integrity mm -hmm. and dropping the act and being the real you. Mm -hmm. So, how do you want people to describe Pastor Bob? Mm. Well, what I'd hope is that, you know, that I live my life in a way that when people describe me, that that, that would be an example of Christ's love, you know, that a person that expresses love, a person that speaks truth, and there, there would be consistency between what I say and what I do. And I think none of us are perfect, you know, but uh, we want to be an example of godly character, you know, getting along with people, friendly and kind, and maybe a little bit fun. Yeah. I may not be as fun as Pastor Jay, but <laughs> fun too. Fun, yeah. Yeah. That's what I hope. I hope kids, <laughs> my, my hope in speaking to the kids, I hope you guys are having fun. Yeah, fun. Serving God <laughs> is a fun thing. It's, yeah. You know, sometimes people don't think that, but it's one of the most fun things I've ever done in life. And there's no bad consequences to it because integrity keeps you safe. Right. It's a good thing to have. Um, so I ask all my guests these three questions. Okay. They're very, very important questions. And I don't know as a pastor how you would do this, but... Can you tell us your favorite Bible verse? Oh, yes, I can. My favorite Bible verse is Ezra 7.10, which says that Ezra prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, to do it, and to teach statutes in Israel. And so that's my life verse. So that's basically how I orient my whole life, is to read the Bible, learn the Bible, do what it says, and teach others how to do what it says. Wow. So that's my life. That's, that's, okay, <laughs> so how about this one? Now, I know... You're a teacher. You mm -hmm. teach lots of stories in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite story? Or maybe the season have a favorite story? That's a, that's a tough one. I, what I tell people when they ask me what my favorite story of the Bible is, it's whatever one I'm reading and studying at the time. 
Because as a teacher, you kind of, you know, at the moment you get into what you're reading and studying and learning. Like right now I'm studying for Christmas, mm -hmm. learning a lot about stars and galaxies and things like that. So it's really interesting. So like that would be my favorite right now. But after Christmas season is over, <laughs> we get into the new year, Rosh Hashanah might be because that's a yeah. new year, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, because the Bible's filled with so many neat things. And so I kind of find, fall in love with the one I'm working with. The one you're digging deep in. D digging deeper in, yep. There's a plug yep. there. <laughs> Parents at <Thank> home. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the last in question, which is an important question. What is your favorite food that you thank God for? Thank you, God, for making this. That's an easy one. A number one Chick-fil-A sandwich. <laughs> that is my I, favorite meal of all. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a chocolate chip cookie. Well, that's dessert. Or we said or, meal. Now we hit a dessert, <laughs> and and I'm kind of changing even the chocolate chip. I don't eat as many chocolate chip cookies as I used to because as I'm getting it older, I can't do that. Yeah. But I really like a great bowl of ice cream before yeah. I go to bed. That's yeah. a wonderful thing. Oh, see, all last month was I ice saw cream. that ice cream. Ice yeah. cream and uh, Pastor Jay. I saw what Pastor Jay had to eat. <laughs> Uh, and I'm glad that you asked Pastor Jay to do that. <laughs> Mustard on ice cream is not really my idea of a great ice cream. He's a trooper. Yes. He's a trooper for sure. Yeah. So, well, thank you so much for all oh, you it's do great to be here. for us at the church. And, well, thank you. And thank and, Edgar. Yes. Make sure Edgar knows I really liked and, and really enjoyed meeting him. Oh, good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. Sometimes he can be ornery. He is ornery. I will <laughs> give you that. He's an ornery character. <laughs> Well, until next time, guys, we'll see you later. We'll see you guys.